Have you ever stopped to think that absolutely everything in the universe is spinning? The moon orbits the Earth. The Earth spins on its own axis while simultaneously orbiting the sun. The sun itself is spinning, tracing a path around the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The Milky Way also orbits the gravitational center of the so-called local group, a cluster of over 50 galaxies. And this entire group is spinning inside an even larger structure, the Virgo supercluster. It goes on and on, a rotation within a rotation, like an endless cosmic ballet. Even for space travel, this spin is essential. Before landing on the moon, spacecraft first need to enter orbit around both the Earth and the moon itself to make a controlled descent. But don't think this motion is exclusive to large scales. At the quantum level, there's spin too. Electrons spin around atomic nuclei, and each subatomic particle has what physicists call spin. Spin is a fundamental property, like the DNA of a particle's movement. It's not exactly a physical spin like we imagine, but more like an intrinsic angular momentum, similar to mass or electric charge. In electrons, this spin even generates a tiny magnetic field around them. Protons, neutrons, antiparticles, they all have spin inseparable from their very nature. From the moment a particle is created, it's born with this intrinsic motion, depending on its density and energy. As these particles clustered over time, forming larger objects thanks to gravity, they acquired angular momentum. This momentum determines whether an object spins on its own axis or orbits another body, like Earth orbiting the sun. There's something curious about this tendency to spin. It gives objects in space their spherical shape. Gravity pulls mass toward the center, and the more massive the body, the stronger the pull. You might wonder, why don't planets just crash into each other? If everything were still, all matter would indeed collapse into a single point, destroying balance. But the truth is, nothing stands still. Everything moves. Different speeds of celestial bodies create a dance of movements, a choreography ruled by a powerful law, inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object to keep moving or stay still unless acted upon by an external force. In space, where there's almost no friction, this motion persists for an incredibly long time. This is what we call conservation of angular momentum. Because of it, bodies keep spinning and orbiting in circular paths or elliptical orbits. Sometimes this dance is interrupted by collisions, but even then, angular momentum is conserved, just redistributed. Since space is not entirely empty, velocities can add or cancel each other depending on directions. This leads us to a fundamental conclusion. Absolute rest doesn't exist. Imagine if Earth were destroyed by some catastrophic event. Its fragments would keep spinning around the sun, inheriting the planet's angular momentum. Luckily, this isn't something we need to worry about anytime soon. Even though Earth's rotation is gradually slowing due to the moon's gravitational pull and the faint resistance of space, this will take billions of years. Long before then, the sun will exhaust its fuel and cease to exist, and humanity will probably have left long ago. Understanding this helps us grasp that any interstellar object entering our solar system must have been launched at incredibly high speeds, enough to escape the gravity of its home system. Take Oumuamua, for example. We still don't know exactly where it came from, but we're sure it left its system at an astonishing speed. Usually this happens after explosive events like collisions or the violent death of a star. This is called the escape velocity, the minimum speed an object needs to break free from another body's gravity. To escape Earth's gravity, for example, an object needs to reach about 11.2 kilometers per second. That's over 40,000 kilometers per hour. Even at that speed though, it remains bound to the sun orbiting with Earth. To break free from the entire solar system? That's a whole other challenge. It requires reaching about 43.5 kilometers per second, a mind-boggling speed. And this speed doesn't stay constant. As an object moves away, the sun's gravity pulls and slows it down. That's why sending a probe beyond the solar system isn't easy. The Voyager probes used a clever trick called gravitational assist. Harnessing the gravity of giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn, 
to get slingshot boosts, gaining speed without extra fuel. This works because, in physics, energy is conserved. So, if we want to launch something fast enough to become truly interstellar, to leave the solar system and wander through space, we have two options. Use brilliant maneuvers like gravitational assists or rely on colossal explosions like supernovae to fling matter at unbelievable speeds. And if we want to go even further, our galaxy itself has an escape velocity, about 537 kilometers per second, or nearly 2 million kilometers per hour. That's right. To leave the Milky Way and travel to other galaxies, we'd need to reach almost 2 million kilometers per hour. So far, we've gotten a glimpse of why objects spin, how gravity works, and the role of conserving angular momentum. But there's one question that keeps nagging. Why does everything in the universe spin? Where did that original push come from? Did the universe itself start spinning? This is still a mystery that puzzles scientists. Some studies suggest a slight asymmetry. A small majority of galaxies seem to spin in the same direction, maybe around 1% to 2% more. This could just be an observational bias, but if it's true, it might mean there's a preferred direction in the universe. That might sound like a tiny detail, but it's actually significant. If the universe began in perfect balance, logic says half the galaxies would spin in one way and half the other. This small tilt might mean the universe did begin with some initial rotation, and that could change a lot. Some theorists even speculate that this original spin could be connected to dark energy, that mysterious force accelerating the universe's expansion. Maybe what we call dark energy is actually the effect of a colossal centrifugal force created by the universe's own rotation. But here's the catch. There's no direct observational proof of this yet. Studies of the cosmic microwave background radiation, that primordial light from the Big Bang, haven't found clear signs the universe is spinning. Still, that doesn't rule out the possibility. Maybe it's rotating so slowly that we just can't detect it yet. Kind of like how our ancestors never imagined the Earth spinning on its axis. In fact, some studies suggest the universe might take about 6.3 billion years to complete one full rotation. That's such an enormous time scale that it feels like everything is standing still from our point of view. And if we go even further into speculation, what if our universe is spinning inside an even bigger system, like a planet orbiting within a solar system? What if the multiverse is a structure where many universes spin and even collide like planets, triggering cataclysmic events like the Big Bang? Fascinating, right? The truth is, we can speculate forever and still have no concrete answers. But one thing is certain, the more science advances, the stranger, more complex, and more surprising the universe becomes. It's like a gigantic, perfectly tuned machine. And we humans are just tiny cogs in this vast cosmic gear. Don't forget to subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our next content. That's it for today. See you in the next video. And remember, knowledge is an investment with endless returns.